The figure below is made out of two triangles, so the small one and the big one. They told us that the ratio of the length of BD, BD to DE to EC is 2 is to 3 is to 2. Okay, at this point of time, stop ah, uh, do not read on. Now, we have an opportunity right now to find out more information, so let's try to find out the value of BD. Since the ratio of BD to DE is 2 is to 3, if this one is 3 units, this will be 2 units. Okay, since 3 units, represents 12 meters oh they're using meters not cm okay so be careful of the units huh? so therefore one unit will be 12 divided by 3 and that will give us 4 meters and therefore your two units will be 2 multiplied by 4 giving us 8 meters so this will be 8 meters similarly this will be 8 meters as well if we have read the question properly now so they mentioned to us that the shaded area, which is this, is 60% of ABC. So out of this entire triangle, right, the shaded region represents 60% of the entire thing, which means this must be 40%. So this one is 60%. Now the question is asking for what is the area of the unshaded part. With this information, actually we can find the entire area of the triangle. Okay, So the area of the triangle will be half times base times perpendicular height. So shall we just find ABC first? So ABC will give us half multiplied by base multiplied by perpendicular height. So this will be 8 plus 12 plus 8 giving us 28 multiplied by 23. So let's just go ahead and throw that inside our calculator and let's find out what is the area of ABC. Okay, so it is half multiplied by 28 multiplied by 23 giving us 322 meter square. So now, since they said that the shaded area is 60% of the entire thing, which is this, okay, the unshaded part must be 40% of the entire thing. So we only have one more working to do, which is to find 40% of ABC. This will be quite simple. Just take 40% multiplied by 322. Just throw that inside your calculator and then you'll be getting 128. 0.8 meter square. Alright, easy? Done.